Shalom, everybody. How are you guys doing today? I hope your spirits find you well. If you're new, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you on this transformational journey. My name is KB. And um, so uh, this is a place where, just in case you're new, where um, people like me and probably you who have gone through anything in their life has suffered greatly and this is a place where um, you've empowered yourself where I've empowered myself and other people are empowering themselves and they're covering out of a whole bunch of shit so um, thank you for joining me now I wanted to let all the Christian folk know that I'll be doing a little cussing in this video so if you want to exit the room you can do so now thank you I appreciate it and um, and by the way look up the etymology of the words of cuss words so you'll we'll get into that later I want to do a video on that but um also I you know I misled you guys I misled you guys into thinking that um, my sole purpose or focus was to um, focus on ratings for this channel that's that's not it at all that is very shallow of me um, because I had to start over I wanted to build up my uh, subscribers but that's not the mission that's not the mission and I have to back all the way up and I have to rethink that strategy again it's not supposed to happen I'm not supposed to do that the only thing that is important on this platform right here is the journey and um, if I can assist anybody that spirit allows to come here um, via their own spirit not by me trying to gain subscribers and stuff that's what spirit wants spirit doesn't want me to um, do that you know me asking you to do something like that is irrelevant it makes absolutely no sense so I enjoy the support but whether you like the video or you dislike the video, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What matters is my destination. What matters is those that are going through heartache and hardship. What matters is them coming out of heartache and heartbreak and empowering themselves on this journey. So that was so, it was very shallow of me and that was my ego and I, I let my ego get in the way. But this is what I wanted to really, truly, truly talk to somebody about. Because I've been there. It's the only reason why I can talk about it. If you've had, if you've gone through so much in your life, or you've gone, like, the awakenings, or if you've had a troubled childhood, if you have been abused, if you are mentally, verbally, physically abused, if you have gone through homelessness or anything of that sort, anything of that sort, addictions, food addictions, drug addictions, if you've gone through life, the individuals that I started this channel with probably are not really no longer here, but that's okay. But most of them have gone through all of that in the matter of one year. They've gone through so much strife, so much hell in, in what somebody would have gone through in a lifetime, they've gone through in one year. But I say to you, if you've gone through any of that in any amount of time in your life, during any process or period of your life, I just wanted to tell you that you No one can disempower you. No one can take away all the work that you have done if you've gotten yourself to a point of where you accepted yourself, you have healed yourself, or you're on that journey and you're out of that rut of despair, of wanting to commit suicide, of lack anything like that, if you've gotten yourself out of that rut, no one can disempower you. You have gone through so much in your life. 
losing jobs, kids taken away from you. You've gotten, so much has happened to you. Family and friends have turned their backs on you. People have called you crazy. People have done horrendous things to you. You've gotten to a point where, like I said before, you've worked on yourself. And now, when individuals come along and they try to disempower you, they can't. Because the amount of work that you have done on yourself and that you are still doing on yourself, has this journey has made you unfuckable. They cannot fuck with you. Nobody can say, do, make you believe anything that you do not want to believe in. And if they try and throw their negative energy on you, it just bounces off. You know why? Because you are at a point right now where you are in bliss because you see the light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. Do you know what I'm saying? You see what's on the other side of this realm, of this 3D reality that we're living in. No one can say or do anything to you to knock you off of your square. You've gone through the worst in your life. And at that lowest point in your life, guess what was created? A little bitty gangster or a thug was created inside of you going through all that hardship. And it was created for this moment now. For when people do try and attack you. For when people do try and talk bad about you. For when they do shun you. Again. When the same issues start to arrive or come up into your realm. That thug comes out and nothing can penetrate you because that thug is strong and powerful, resilient, brave, and lets things roll off his back because it's been there, it's done that. Nothing can bring you back to that lowest point in your life. Nothing, nobody, nobody can make you feel ashamed. Nobody can make you feel sad. Nobody can make you cry. Nobody can hurt you anymore. That's what I want you to understand. I want you to get that inside your heart. There's a desire, there's a burning sensation that is inside of you that nobody can take away. Nobody can take that away from you. You stay the you stay on course. You stay on course. You don't derive from your path. On the other side, just know those people that hurt you, those people that shun you, those people that won't support you, where you're going, they won't be. They won't be. It's going to only be blissful individuals, individuals who know your struggle, individuals who are where you are because you've worked on yourself. They're going to be loving, peaceful individuals. But just know all of that stuff was done so you can become stronger. You have a mission to accomplish, right? Anybody who is going through any strife in their life, which I know all of us have, but if you've gone through it in a period of rapidness, where it took your life out, where it flipped your whole life upside down, there was a reason for that. There was a reason for that. 
You're here to help others cross over. You're here to help others get on the journey that you're on now. That's what you're here for. The creator picked you for a reason. And he knew that you can handle everything that you've gone through. He knew it. He knew that you would be strong, the strongest. And he only wants, source, almighty source only wants the strongest. Because you know there's a lot of individuals out there who are in jail, who are who have killed themselves, who have murdered people, who are in mental institutions, and they were just like you and me. They didn't make it, but you did, because you're on the other side of that camera looking at me right now, right? I want to encourage you to keep going. It's a journey. It's a process. That we all got to go through to make it out of here on the other side happiness heaven on earth and you can do it just keep your goals in mind and don't ever revisit the past when people try and test you or try and bring you back to that certain place that thug comes out and it protects you it's your alter ego that everybody needs, not to be combative, but to just know that that thug is going to say, oh, okay, I see what you're trying to do. You're defaming me. I see what you're trying to do. Oh, you're trying to make me homeless. I see what you're trying to do. Oh, you, you, you trying to hurt my feelings? It's not going to work. I've been there. I've done that. I know how to work around these situations now. That's what that thug inside of you is saying. Nothing can phase you anymore. It's like a duck taken to water. That's what you are now. You go through these trials and tribulations like a duck taken to water. Easy breezy. No one can hurt you anymore. All right? Well, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I hope you were able to understand what I was trying to convey Sometimes with my brain, <laughs> my consciousness is all over the place. Sometimes it's hard for me to even understand what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'd be looking back on videos and be like, what the hell was I talking about? <laughs> oh, but anyway, I hope this helps someone to know that, you know, the worst is over. Nobody can do anything to hurt you. And I'm going to keep telling you that and reminding you that you are in a place right now where it's only up from here. You've gone through everything you could ever go through in your lifetime in one year. <laughs> now it's time for you to heal yourself and get on your mission so you can help others. All right. I love you guys and have a blissful day.